Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. This is Antonio and today I'm bringing you another delicious recipe. Uh, it's called caldo de pollo or um, chicken and vegetable soup or stew. Uh, as you can see, this is the finished product and believe me, it's really, really delicious and it's super, super simple to make. So I hope that you will take the time to, to make it and enjoy it just as much as I do. Okay, here's my ingredients. This is what you're going to need. You're going to need three cloves of garlic, as you can see there, uh, four bay leaves, and about one quarter of uh, one onion, uh, some sea salt, and black pepper. Okay, so let's get started. Um, of course, you're also gonna need some chicken and some vegetables, but we'll get to those in, in just a second. Okay, first thing I do is I'm, I'm, I've got my, my pot filled about halfway to, with water, into this water I put in the the, the uh, garlic the onion the bay leaves about uh, half a teaspoon of the pepper black pepper and one teaspoon of salt so I got I get that boiling okay here are my ingredients my vegetables as you can see I've got some cabbage about a third of a head of cabbage a zucchini two celery sticks some um, cilantro two carrots, three potatoes, six pieces of corn, and two chayotes. All right, I'm going to chop all this up. So with the magic of television or YouTube, <laughs> uh, I didn't want to bore you showing you um, me chopping all these vegetables, but this is what you do. You chop them all up just like that. Okay, now your water by this time should be boiling. As you can see here, it's got to be real nice and hot and and that's what that's what we want okay so there's the uh, the bay leaves the the onions the garlic and uh, the salt and pepper into that uh, boiling water next what you're going to do is you're going to take your chicken which in my case I used uh, chicken thighs okay and I used four chicken thighs so here you see me put putting them into the water I didn't have time to thaw them out so that's okay you can put them in there if they're still frozen uh, just be careful that you don't throw in there that little paper that's on the bottom of the chicken uh, when they wrap it sometimes that sticks so just make sure you remove that all right so here's my chicken it's been boiling for about um, I would say it's been boiling for about half an hour okay so this is what it's looking like it, as you can see it's releasing all the fat and the, the stew is looking good and it smells really good at this point about 35 to 40 minutes into the boiling time of the chicken you're going to go ahead and get your all your vegetables as you can see me here and uh, i'm just going to go ahead and put those into the water along with the chicken just make sure you don't splash yourself so you don't burn yourself uh, but it's really super super simple in goes the corn the cabbage the potatoes um, the cilantro the celery and the chayotes chayote squash um, all right so here's my stew it's uh, been boiling uh, for a little while now and I'm just gonna give it a quick check up here and wow it's looking really good folks as you can see here um, it's coming right along go ahead and uh, let it boil some more get some onion not some onion some lemons and some uh, serrano peppers and slice them up just like I like you saw there um, gonna check my uh, Whoa, we have a guest. Oh my goodness, a surprise appearance. <laughs> That's my little dog. Um, he's always curious when I'm cooking. He keeps me company. Anyways, um, here's the uh, the stew. Now it's been um, cooking for about, uh, all together, I would say about two hours. Okay, and it's going to be on medium heat. You don't want to put it on full blast because it'll just ev the water will evaporate too much there's no need for that but as you can see here is uh, you can see all the good vegetables in there the corn the chicken and the zucchini the carrots the celery the potatoes the chayotes my goodness it's got a little bit of everything and believe me folks it's really really delicious here's the finished product as you can see it's got a little bit of everything I've put some uh, serrano pepper slices and go ahead and squeeze some lemon in there okay Go ahead and serve it up. Add some salt to taste. And believe me, it is really, really delicious. I hope you get some time to make this. And I guarantee that everybody that has it, that tastes it, they're really going to like it. 
I guarantee that you're gonna like it. Too. It's just the way that grandma used to make it. If you if you know what I mean, it's one of those meals that just really sticks to your ribs and it makes you feel good, especially on a cold, cold day. Um, that's just gonna warm you up, and and it's if you're hungry, your hunger is gonna go away. Anyways, um, well, I've had a lot of fun uh, showing you how to make this uh, old world, old style recipe. Anyone can make it. Uh, let me know what you think of it. If you do make it, if you like it, and feel free to leave me a comment uh, and subscribe to my channel. That way, when I make a new recipe, you'll be the first one to be notified. Okay. So until next time, this is Antonio signing out. Uh, have a great, great day. Take care. Bye bye.